Hey there everybody, hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about uh, our second review for the year. I've got a, uh, a goal of I'm going to have 12 reviews this year, so one goal a month. This being February, um, we're going to be talking about uh, the sleeping pad that, pad that I got uh, for, uh, for Christmas. So we've got the tent up, I've got my sleeping bag that I reviewed last uh uh, last month, the, uh, the, actually I've still got the box right here, uh, the Coleman sleeping bag, Oak Point sleeping bag. So we're going to be talking about a sleeping pad because sleeping on the ground, straight up on the ground, especially when you're a 45 year old dude like me, can kind of make your back hurt. So we're going to be talking about this today. Hey there everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail Review. Today we are talking about the uh, Sleep and Go. This is a just a, a regular uh, sleeping mat. And uh, whenever I got it for, uh, uh, for Christmas, not a whole lot was uh, available for it. Uh, all it had on there was a, when I got it, was just a little sticky uh, that, sticker that was stuck to the bag. And it really doesn't tell you a whole heap and lot other than it's for ultralight 14 and a half ounces uh, in, in weight. So if you are wanting to do ultralight hack, uh, hiking, this little guy just may be your best friend because um, it will keep, uh, keep, all the, uh, keep all the weight off of you. Now when you first get it, you're going to end up, uh, as you saw, it just comes nicely rolled up. You get a couple patches with some uh, with some uh, fabric glue in there, so you'll be able to. Uh, uh, if you end up poking a hole in it, you won't be uh, sol halfway through a uh, hike. And this puppy is long. Of course, it's supposed to be for about a six foot uh, tall person. So uh, we open this up and we see how wide it is. See if it what it what the size is meant for. And. Uh, It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a narrow sleeping bag. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. You see, I, it is just wide enough for me. So, so we're going to, this will be interesting uh, <laughs> to see exactly how, well this uh sleep and go mat works because it's truly tall enough i've got it's touching the ground and i've got it above my head so it's for about a seven foot tall dude um so <laughs> this is this is going to be a uh an interesting uh uh you know now so this is what you use this is your fill-up port I figured there'd be just like the little small ones but this is supposed to be a little bit different uh, to uh, deflate extend outwards the black rubber flap so okay so what it is is there's a black rubber flap in here and I can't seem to get this out of the way and with enough pressure you can actually just grab this there's a little tab right in here and you just pull it and it breaks the seal and it's supposed to all air out so but to air it up so let's go ahead and let's do this let's see how long and that sounds really dirty um it's let's see how difficult it is to air this thing up so good thing i don't smoke anymore Doesn't take long to air up. And there we go. Now, she's supposed to be aired up. Looks like she's aired up. And we'll try that uh, tonight. Um, when ordering this, I'm not exactly sure where, uh, which uh, 
area my wife or what part of the world my wife ordered this off of so i'm not exactly sure much about uh sleep and go other than uh it's a uh it's meant for really skinny people so we're gonna like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna lay out on this thing to uh tonight through the night um we're supposed to have some pretty decent weather tonight so i will uh be testing this out and making sure that it uh see how difficult see what the challenge is for uh for sleeping on this uh little skinny mat so <laughs> now that i'm a i'm a wide boy so anyhow let's we'll test this out and uh, we'll let you know how it goes all right uh, what this looks like as opposed to uh, the mat and then we have our sleeping bag so as you can see the sleeping bag and the mat are about a little different in size all right and so as you can see the the mat is maybe half as wide as what the uh, sleeping bag is so we're gonna find out I mean this will be a fun little experiment let's see how this thing goes apparently uh, there is the foot so I'll need to turn this around actually and uh, this is more along the lines for a mummy bag is what I'm thinking really beginning to think so anyhow but there you go that's what we have uh, and that'll be my challenge is that since I choose to accept it so here we go okay guys so there you go here is as I'm in, kneeling in my uh, long grass that is the sleep and go padding now what did I think through the night um, well first off it lost some of its air could be just because it got colder than whenever i aired it up so you know air condenses a little bit or it could just be that my fat butt squeezed some of the air out um so it, i like it but let's test this out to deflate they say on here there is a little box a little uh flap and then right inside of here and inside of here is a black valve what you do is you grab that black valve and you pull it out just like that and that leaves allows the air to leave unobstructed and from there I can flatten it out fold it up and roll it up so all in all I would have to say I, it's a good uh, it's a good air pad to, to use um, I'm gonna see I was telling talking to the wife earlier today and she was actually saying that she bought she thought when she ordered it uh, that she thought it was actually supposed to be supposed to be more of a uh, slide it inside the sleeping bag which might actually make sense since uh, uh, but at the same time the issue I had is I am a kind of a heavy dude and so laying on it um, my hips were still able to make very firm contact with the uh, with the ground so there were several times during the night I would wake up and my hips would be hurting because I was laying just pressing you know my big old frame up next to up next to the to the to the, the ground now granted as you saw if you see me walk around my this ground's not the hardest ground in the world uh, so you, you it's good and soft but at the same time it can cause some uh for for me it definitely uh let me know that i was sleeping on one side for a good little while uh did make it through the night did have to sadly i did use a uh, use a blanket because it got a little cool uh but i uh, didn't have to throw a sweatshirt on so i was able to do a sweatshirt a blanket uh extra blanket and and slept all right through the night um so anyhow, that is it. I, I like it. If you definitely want to have ultralight, uh, the Sleep and Go uh, mat is a is definitely a, a good uh, good mat to have. So anyhow, guys, thank y'all very much for uh, the time. We'll catch y'all later.